Hi, all my students. Hi, all my Norwegian students. Welcome to lesson number six. So somebody has just brought it to my attention that I have not taught you guys the words for yes and no. What a faux pas. So let me correct that now. They're quite simple. In Norwegian, the word for yes is ja, and the word for no is nei. Ja or nei. This lesson is going to be mainly consisting of useful words and phrases for eating out at a restaurant or a cafe in Norway. But before we get to that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about basic sentence structure. Now, in Norwegian, just like in English, most sentences are going to start with the subject. So I, you, he, she, it, Jack, John, Sulvai, those are all subjects. After the subject will come the verb, the action word. What is the subject of the sentence doing? However, if something other than the subject begins the sentence, then you need to change the order of the subject and the verb so that the verb comes first and the subject comes second. So for example, let's take the sentence Jeg er syk, which means I am sick. So Jeg er syk is uh, just the basic form of the sentence. However, if we wanted to start that sentence with another word, like for example, uh, the word desvare, which means unfortunately, you have to change the subject verb order. So the subject, or I'm sorry, the sentence would then be Desvare er jeg syk. You can't say Desvare jeg er syk. Then you sound like a foreigner. And that goes for anything, like if you wanted to say uh, Today I am sick, again you would have to say I dag er jeg syk. So the verb comes first and then the subject whenever we have something other than the subject starting the sentence. Another instance where we invert the subject and verb in Norwegian is when asking questions. And this is the exact same thing uh, that we do in English. So this should be pretty familiar to all of you English speakers. So if we take the same sentence, jeg er syk, that is a statement, I am sick, right? And just like in English, if we wanted to ask that in a question, we would say, am I sick? So just changing the order of the subject and the verb, er jeg syk. And we don't have this kind of uh, do phrase for questions that we have in English uh, in certain circumstances. Like, uh, for example, uh, a statement would be, uh, you want cake. But if I'm asking you in a question, do you want cake? In English, all I do is add the word do to the front of it, right? But in Norwegian, we don't have this kind of do uh, word for questions. In Norwegian, we always invert the subject and the verb. So in Norwegian, I would say, du vil ha kake means you want cake, but if I'm asking it in a question, vil du ha kake? Do you want cake? So in Norwegian, we always invert the subject and verb uh, for changing a statement to a question or just asking questions in general. However, then you need to make sure that the sentence starts with a verb, because if you have something else in front there, again, it will become a statement. Like if you wanted to say, uh, today I want cake, i dag vil jeg ha kake. That's not a question, that's a statement. If you wanted to ask the question, uh, do I want cake today, then the today needs to come at the end. So, vil jeg ha kake i dag? Okay, so let's get started on some helpful words and phrases that you guys might need if you're going to eat out in Norway. So, the word for hungry in Norwegian is sulten. Sulten. So, if you wanted to say that you are hungry, you would say, jeg er sulten. Or if you want to ask someone else if they are hungry, er du sulten? The word for thirsty is tusht. Tusht. Jeg er tusht. That means I am thirsty. Now some phrases that you might hear a server saying in Norwegian is, for example, Kan jeg by på noe å drikke? Can I offer you something to drink? Kan jeg by på noe å drikke? You might also hear them say, Er dere klare til å bestille? Are dere klare til å bestille? That means, are you guys ready to order? Remember that dere is the plural form of you in Norwegian. I would say du to one person, but I would say dere if I'm speaking to more than one person. Vi trenger litt mer tid. Vi trenger litt mer tid. Means we need a little more time. Now, if you'd like to ask for an English menu, you can say har dere en engelsk meny? Har dere en engelsk meny? That means, do you have an English menu? To order something, you can say, Jeg vil gjerne ha. I would like to have. Jeg vil gjerne ha. Or you can say, Jeg skal ha. 
I will have. Jeg skal ha. Or you can say, jeg tar. I will take. Obviously, you insert whatever you'll be having there. A cup in Norway is en kopp. So we would say en kopp kaffe, a cup of coffee. Or you can just refer to a coffee as en kaffe. Now, if you're running off to the loo and you want your friend to order something for you, you can say, Kan du bestille en kopp kaffe til meg? That means, can you order a cup of coffee for me? Kan du bestille en kopp kaffe til meg? We can have en kopp te. En kopp te, a cup of tea. Sugar in Norwegian is sukker. And milk is melk. Melk. And cacao is a hot cocoa. Or we can also say varm chocolate, which is uh, literally hot chocolate in varm chocolate. A glass in Norwegian is et glas. So we have, for example, et glas van, a glass of water. In Norwegian, we have two different words uh, for juice, as you would have in English. We have soft, which really refers to more like from concentrate, kind of like sugar water. There are um, a bunch of different like juices from concentrate, you know, like, I don't know, fun light or whatever you have in the States where it's like you pour a little bit in and then you just mix it out with water. Um, that in Norwegian is called soft. Um, although usually you don't get that out at a restaurant. Um, but juice, which you could get, uh, is called use. And that generally, if you say use, it refers to something that's like actually um, squeezed from a fruit, although it doesn't necessarily have to be fresh squeezed. Um, but something from concentrate, we would call it soft. And um, actual fruit juice is called use. A knife is an kniv. An kniv. A fork is an guffel. An guffel. A spoon is an she. An she. Chopsticks in Norwegian are called spisepinne, which literally means uh, eating sticks. En pinne is a stick. A spis or spise is to eat. So spisepinner is literally eating sticks. Meat is kött. Kött. So you can say et stykke kött, a piece of meat. Chicken in Norwegian is en kylling. En kylling. Uh, fish is en fisk. En fisk. Vegetables in Norwegian are called grønnsaker. Grønnsaker, which again, literally translated means uh, green things. And sock is kind of like a, a thing. Um, you can also say en ting for a thing, but but um, en sock basically just means a thing. So grønnsaker is like gr green things, is what we call vegetables in Norway. Though obviously they're not all green. And you guys will see a lot of this uh, in Norwegian where in, in English they've kind of come up with a word for it. And in Norwegian they kind of just say it as it is. We have, for example, a carrot, which is en gullrot, en gullrot, which uh, directly translated again is um, a golden root. Gull is gold, so en gullrot is literally a, a golden root. An onion in Norwegian is en løk, en løk. Garlic in Norwegian is hvit løk, hvit løk, which literally means white onion. And if you want to refer to a clove of garlic, you'd say et fett, et hvitløks fett. Cauliflower is blonko, blonko. And corn is referred to as mice, mice. Corn on the cob is referred to as en maiskolbe, en maiskolbe. Lettuce in Norwegian is just called salat, salad, which is also the word for a salad. And the Norwegian word for fruit is frukt, frukt. A pear is en pare, en pare. A mango is en mango, en mango. The Norwegian word for pineapple is en ananas, en ananas. And a kiwi is en kiwi, en kiwi. Keep in mind that in Norwegian, W is pronounced like a V. We call it W, double V, and it's just pronounced like a V. So we say kiwi. A loaf of bread in Norwegian is et brød. We don't really refer to it in, in loaf form. I guess um, we all kind of understand that bread comes in, in loaves. So uh, in Norway we just say et brød, a loaf of bread. I'll give you some verbs also. Å spise is to eat. Å spise. To drink is å drikke. 
å drikke. To order is å bestille. Å bestille. Og mate i Norwegian means to feed. Å mate. Kan jeg få regningen? Is may I have the bill? Kan jeg få regningen? Or you can say, jeg tar regningen. I will take the bill. This is also something you can say uh, if you want to tell your eating companion that you will pay the bill. Or you can say, jeg spanderer. Well, spanderer is, um, is to treat somebody. So, jeg spanderer. I, I'll treat you. I hope these words and phrases have been helpful for you, that you can use them when you're out at a restaurant in Norway. I will leave you, of course, my darlings, as always, with this lesson's bonus word. This time I will be teaching you guys the Norwegian word for weird, strange, odd, curious. In Norwegian we say pussy. The G there is silent. So, hmm, det var pussy. That's odd. Hmm, pussy. Thanks for watching.